Sony Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another a very bougie episode of Cigar Review. So today we are doing another Opus X. This is one that Eric sent over to me. Expensive, expensive Opus X. I don't know why they make this one because Opus X is usually rare and it's already expensive. They did decide to make another one that's also relatively the same blend but expensive. All right? This is the Opus X Fuente Fuente Opus X um, Stefano Ricci. All right. So, as usual, take a look at it right away. Here we go. Fuente Fuente Opus X Stefano Ricci. Wrapper, binder, filler, as usual, on these clothes, but we know from past experience it will be dominican piro the size is 7 by 52 with a slight box press but not all the way down msrp 595 dollars and 75 cents absolutely crazy for this cigar the most notable part for this cigar is that ego head or it could be anything else but i, I think that's an ego head that's the stefano richie's ego logo but it just happened to just have that head so all right, this is the uh, Oro Blanco range cigar. Almost six hundred dollars. Let's go. Okay, now that we're back, I really get now. Sometimes you know, you know, I smoke a lot of expensive cigars, and I don't feel nearly as scared to smoke a cigar if I bought it myself. This cigar is provided to me by uh, Midnight Cigars, Eric, and it's 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 a near six hundred dollar cigar. Now, if I bought it myself, without hesitation, I'll smoke it. But when somebody else give me a cigar this caliber, I'm like, you know, I'm, I get a little bit scared. I get like, what if it's not good? What if I tell them it's not good? What if it's like, you know, it's not up to expectation? Because I know for sure there's not going to be a $600 worth of reason here. And, you know, same re same way with the Oro Blanco. So, you know, it kind of give me, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll get started, though. Ribbons. Ah. Huh. It smells like old leather luggage. Very manly. Almost like cedar wood. Not cedar wood, um, sandal wood. All right. Hmm. Very mushroomy, musty, fermented taste with a little bit of saltiness to it, like a little bit umami ness. Yeah, like a dried shiitake mushroom or portobello mushroom kind of taste. And has a little bit like if you just lick on MSG like that. I don't know. All right, all right. 
Expensive cigar, give the most chance possible. Toast. Oh, it has a really good tobacco smell. Yeah, it smells like tobacco. All right, get the edge. Pepper, his pepper right away. Bits of saltiness. Cedar. Earthiness. Floral. Dry, dry ginger. Dry, dry. You know those like, you buy, it's like dry ginger. If you add water, it becomes instant use ginger for cooking. Like tastes like those dry ginger. There are some like burnt nuttiness. I don't know, the floral is kind of different. It's on and off and then kind of different kind of floral. Oh, what was that? That was soup. That puff is like paint. <laughs> It's floral, but it's like paint. Like those like plastic paint, clear coat. Remember the name. Polyurethane. <laughs> That's what it smells like. I remember that smell because once I helped paint uh, an entire barn, house, like wooden house with polyurethane. And that's what it's, the whole entire place smells like that. It's a weird ass mushroom taste too. All right, we smoke one third. I'll we'll be right back. Okay, first third. First of all, construction, pretty good. Pretty good, usually this will have fall off by now. And then flavor, medium body, medium strain, medium, medium strain. Uh, and uh, the flavor is more a sweet, woodsy, mushroom, like this is the combination, okay? Woody mushroom, uh, nuttiness, a little bit of floral, a little bit of tingly pepper, and fermenty earthiness, and then put together. Now, if you ask me like really what it tastes like, I describe it as if you go get a really nice Opus 6 and put some MSG in it because it tastes like it has a umami, has a saltiness and has a sweetness. It tastes like MSG. So think of it as a Dominican Puro Opus X with MSG in it. That's what it tastes like. So you think of it as usual, usual um, Opus X has that woodsiness, nuttiness, and a little bit of that fermentedness and, and, and um, you know, and nuttiness, sweetness, right? It's got that, but this one tastes like it's got, it's got MSG in it. That's what it tastes like. If you take a pinch of that MSG and just put it on your tongue, it has the same sensation of that salty sweetness that just kind of works out. And that's what it tastes like. So, and that's the first third. We're going to get into the second third. I'm going to remove this band and 
during the during the removal of this band, this is gonna fall off. I don't know. Is it gonna fall off? Oh, it hasn't. Okay, we'll just do one. We'll just do one. All right. So there you go. There you go. That ego head, Stefano, Richie. They just work it into their their uh the the Opus X style band. And it looks cool. It does look cool. Like I, you know, you wouldn't it doesn't look out of place, I guess. It doesn't look out of place. Right? So what I'm thinking right now, as of now, obviously it's not six hundred dollar, but I know the exact reason why it's six hundred dollar a stick. It shouldn't. But if you bought the entire package, you're buying a name brand setup. Right? When you buy a name brand setup, majority of the money is actually in the name brand setup. Like, like you can go buy a <clears throat> uh, Gurkha Humidor, the Year of the Dragon one. You come with Year of the Dragon Cigar. Obviously, the Year of the Dragon Cigar doesn't worth that money, but that Humidor is what, $2,000? What, $1,300, $1,500, or whatever. That majority is that box. Majority is the Humidor, right? And for this one, the majority is actually that set. Let me see if I can find that picture of the set somewhere here. Like if, if something's here, it's there, right? And that's probably the majority of money is. So, so if I tell you whatever number at the end for the cigar, expect the rest is because of this, not because of the cigar. The cigar is not six hundred dollars. No, all right. It's not worth six hundred dollars at least. I can tell you that straight for now. Like just, it's not gonna be six hundred. It's not gonna be five hundred. Probably not gonna be three hundred dollars either. Definitely not gonna be two hundred dollars. So, yeah, second, third, be right back. All right, second, third. That's a long second, third. It took me a while. Oh, so. Strengthen and climb. Um, flavor is less, less diverse. It's actually closer to a regular Opus X. But that sweetness and the woodsiness are still nice. Are really good. Still have a little bit of tingliness here and there. Draw is good. Still have that musty, almost like mushroom taste. Less of MSG, but it's still there. That's what I got. It's not a bad cigar. It's very enjoyable. You know, it's medium. It's easy to smoke. Construction's good. Draw is good. Um. But it's so similar to a regular Opus X that I I didn't see too much of a difference. All right, the band regular can tell a difference, no difference. Regular band. And that's pretty much it for for second third. I mean, it's just it's just a a toned down version of first third. Everything is better marriage together, and you know take it pick and take some flavor and just marriage together and that's pretty much it for a second third still nice still good but not six hundred dollar good unfortunately so last third let's finish this up and give a price that will make eric cry be right back all right last third not a bad cigar uh last third did dip a little bit it's not as um complex or flavorful Per se, it's more woodsy, and because it died down a little bit, it's more how to say that, like a, like a smoke smell than than a cigar. So, last third wasn't as good as first third. So first third is the best. Second third is okay. Last third, yeah. So that's what I got. Now in terms of the price, I think this is somewhere in the. I had to compare this. I will probably compare to. A ninety dollar range cigar, maybe ninety, eighty five, ninety dollars. Um, yeah, that's as high as I can give. Ninety dollar, yeah, roughly ninety dollars. Now, in terms of that, you gotta say, okay, Tony, this is a six hundred dollar cigar, but if you get that whole package, everything, you're buying a name brand, you know, bag, case, all the accessories and all that stuff. That's why you're buying. That's what really you're buying. You're buying the three, like three, four thousand dollars worth of that, and then some cigars comes with it. That's the cigar. Just boom, there you go. 
So that's what it is. I mean, a lot of kind of cigars like this are you're not buying just a cigar. This is why sometimes I say buying a single cigar, you're losing out because you're paying for everything else that you're not getting. You're paying for the convenience to be able to get that one cigar and not get whatever, right? And some store might be able to sell it for less because they sell everything else separately. And that itself is worth, worth, worth way more money than a cigar. So they can sell a cigar for $100, $200 and then sell the rest for much higher price. You know what I mean? Some people just want that thing. They don't care about the cigar, right? So that's what it is for this cigar. And hopefully I did find a picture with all the stuff in there and show you guys. And you can understand what I mean. And, you know, this is one of those cigars that's just... It's not bad. It is slightly different than an average Opus. In, in fact, it doesn't even taste like a Piro. It tastes like... I was telling Eric, it tastes like they slip a little bit of Nicaraguan in there because of the saltiness and because of the the little bit of that MSG flavor uh, in there. I don't think it's a Piro, but hey, they don't give you the information. We can only go with, uh, you know, what they always go by. Okay, so that will be it for this uh, cigar review. Big thanks to Eric for sending me the cigar. It's a pricey cigar. I feel bad, but you know, I enjoyed it. I had a great conversation while I was smoking the cigar, so make everything good. And other than that, Cigar is a cigar. Go smoke what you like, right? I'll be it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to check out our um, podcast. Uh, make sure to check out our swag. Make sure to check out our um, uh, membership. And also make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you like this comment, uh, like, like, if you like this um, video review. And that is the driving force for us to go find some cigars that you may otherwise wonder what it's about so that you can get an idea whether or not you should splurge okay all right see you guys next time bye guys